important aspect of the work the DSL does, of course, is in the area of uh, chemical, biological, radiological defence. The government's policy aim uh, in this area is to ensure that the UK maintains military and political freedom of action despite the presence or the threat of use of these, of these materials. So DSCL naturally has an extensive research programme in support of that policy. So of course, chemical, in particular chemical warfare agents, uh, they're toxic by uh, skin contact. So it's very important that we have means of, of measuring the effectiveness of individual protective equipment, suits, boots, gloves, and, and the respirator. Back in the mid-90s, uh, we developed the concept of full system testing, where we're able to test a whole system ensemble against chemical warfare agents, and not just the suits, but using ancillary equipment as well. Um, the early mannequin, as you can see over there, is. Uh, He's worked hard over the past uh, 16, 16, 17 years, and he was responsible for bringing into service the Mark IV-A suit there behind on, on the mannequin. And so, with our new mannequin here, we'll be able to, to test uh, clothing systems in a much more dynamic way, f far greater detail than we were before. And uh, so we've taken, take, we took delivery of, uh, of the mannequin a couple of weeks ago, and once it goes through its, uh, its paces, over the next few weeks, we will hopefully get him live in the chamber and start seeing, uh, start seeing how he performs against the real stuff. You've got to remember that this is, it has to be a, it's a tool, and the people that are using this tool have to be able to use it very easily. And uh, we'd noted from um, the original mannequin that, that was here at Port and Down, that um, it was a real struggle to bring it into the chamber and then there's a chain hoist to lift the mannequin because it was so heavy to get it onto its framework and the motion that it had was very unrealistic and the shape of the figure was very unrealistic and I think with this new mannequin we've um, really met all those challenges. Um, the mannequin is it's made of carbon composite so it's very lightweight and very strong. The previous mannequin weighed about 80 kilos and this one weighs 14 kilos um, and so it's very rigid and uh, it's because of the epoxy uh, used in the carbon composite, it's washed down. This mannequin will also offer a, a vast range of different movement profiles and postures. So you'll be able to walk, march and run at various speeds. It will also be able to move its head independently. It will be on a turntable so it can actually uh, face the instant winds which is provided by a bank of fans when the test system is in operation is able to orientate into different positions against that wind speed. We hope that this test system will be used for the design and development of the next generation of CV protective suit systems. So in order to carry out the testing we place a number of sensors, dissimeters across the mannequin body which are placed in these silver ports um, into the mannequin. These contain an absorbent this traps any agent which penetrates the suit system. At the end of the test, we can obtain these dissimeters, work out how much agent has penetrated the suit system, compare that to the challenge concentration, and then we can work out protection factors. And of course, at the end of the day, what this is all about is producing equipment that is going to save lives on the battlefield.